In this tutorial, we'll apply our knowledge of dynamics to combined masses, that is, multiple masses being pushed or pulled together as a system. Our example, a 50 Newton force is applied to two boxes, 5 kilograms and 10 kilograms as shown, sitting on a frictionless surface. What is the acceleration of the system of masses, and what is the internal force acting between the masses? As per normal, we start this dynamics problem with a free body diagram. The difference in this problem is that there are multiple free body diagrams available. Consider, we could do a free body diagram of the entire system. We have Fg for each mass pulling down, and we have the normal forces pushing up, and we have an applied force, 50 newtons pushing to the right. Friction would normally be resisting the motion, but we're told that it's a frictionless surface. So we'll ignore these. So, what other free body diagrams are there? Well, we could consider each mass individually. For each free body diagram, we have Fg down and Fn, normal force, up, and we have the applied force on the 5 kilogram mass. So what's left? Well, some force is pushing the 10 kilogram mass or it wouldn't be moving. Let's call it FC for contact force, since it must be a force coming from the left hand mass. If we think about it, we must also have a force pushing back on the 5 kilogram mass. Think about it. If you're pushing on a box and someone puts another heavy box right in front of your box, well, things suddenly slow down. There must be a counterforce. Considering Newton's third law, we recognize that these two contact forces are indeed equal and opposite. Same size of force, but in opposite directions. Therefore, let's call them both FC. So we're done with free body diagrams. Next, F net equals MA. Let's start with the system horizontally. For forces, we have Fa to the right, and, well, that's it. On the right side, we have to remember that we're considering the mass and the acceleration of the entire system. Therefore, the mass is m1 plus m2, and the acceleration is the acceleration of the entire system. We can rearrange to solve for A and plug in our numbers and determine that the acceleration of the system is 3.33 meters per second squared. And to answer the first part of this problem, we can round it to 3.3 meters per second squared. So we've completed the first part of the question. What about the second part? What is the internal force acting between the masses? As we saw in our free body diagrams, we had to break the system into its parts to be able to consider this internal force, which we called FC. So what exactly is the force FC? Well, if you were stuck between the boxes, it would be the force that you'd be squeezed with while the boxes were accelerating. If you wanted to measure this force, you could use a floor scale placed between the boxes. From the left mass's point of view, FC reduces its acceleration. From the right mass's point of view, it's the indirect cause of the acceleration. From the entire system point of view, it's simply some internal force, irrelevant to the acceleration of the entire system. Taking the next step with the two individual free body diagrams, we start with F net equals MA, then substitute in our forces. FA minus FC equals M1A and FC equals M2A. We can see that either equation could be used to solve for FC. Let's try both and hope they end up equal and opposite. For the first, FC equals FA minus M1A and plugging in some numbers we get 33 newtons left. For the second mass, FC equals M2A. Plugging in some numbers here and we get 33 newtons to the right. Indeed, equal and opposite forces. Note that there are other ways to solve combined mass problems, but the method covered in this tutorial seems easiest to most students. That is, 
consider the entire system of masses with a free body diagram and F net equals MA. Then, if you're interested in the internal forces, split it apart and do the same for each individual mass. Note that this method works fine for quite a variety of combined mass problems. Add friction? No problem. Some more forces in your equations, but the exact same method. Add a third mass? No problem. You have two internal contact forces to determine if asked, but same method. Stacked masses being forced upward in, say, an elevator? No problem. The elevator would be supplying the FA to the system, but same method. 